So I just got back from the theater watching Transformers. I'm giving my honest opinion. This felt like a 90s sitcom to you guys that's my age. It felt like it started off like a 90s sitcom. Something like New York Undercover slash and Living Single. Um, I don't know, maybe because of the actress that was in there. Because she played in New York Undercovers. But this movie, for the first 20 minutes, is boring. Like, it's really jarring. I started to fall asleep. But once the action started to pick up and certain stuff happened, the movie just take off and it never stopped. This movie is fun. It is a roller coaster ride because it keeps you guessing, like, what what's going on? What's going on? What's going to happen? Is, is this person? This movie kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, the new characters like Mirage and the new Autobots. They were pretty cool. I thought Mariah, I thought he was corny at first, but I really dug his personality as time went on because he made up for a certain character that get killed in the first battle, which pissed me the fuck off. Um, that's the only negative that I got. That first battle, you know, the Autobots got their ass beat and they kill off a certain somebody. I'm not going to tell you who, but it redeems itself at the end. And the new characters like Mirage and that new girl, whatever, they fill in the blanks. Mirage is, is, is a kind of, he's kind of cool. I kind of like him, kind of like him. Um, the movie has a lot of action. Once it, once the story picks up, it's action, it's battles, it's Transformers shooting each other, fighting each other, ripping each other apart. This movie is a roller coaster ride and it kept be, it'll keep you on the edge of your seat. If you are a Transformer fan, you definitely got to see this. Um, there, There is human plot, but there's less human plot. It's not cringy like the other one. So, this you get a lot of Transformers in this. I'm still hoping we get a Transformers with Cybertron. Because that Bumblebee opening, we need a full movie of that. We need that. And comment below, because why is that hard to do? Is it because it's expensive or what? But comment below if you know. But I'm still want a only, I want a Cybertron movie with Transformers. I like the new look of Optimus Prime, the sleeker vert, the, you know, the little sleek. He's not all bulky. It works. Everything works in this movie. Um, I don't see where they're going to go with it. But um, if you're a Transformer fan, tell them the harsh critics sent you. I'm going to give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. And I'll be doing a Nick Pick review soon. Got more controversial content coming up with The Little Mermaid. I got about four or five videos with that. And you may shed a tear because I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in on that ass. So, um, yeah. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see you. Yeah, you. On the next video. Peace.